So I think the, one of the huge advantages in the past few decades, um, biologists have collected vast amounts of data. And mathematics can be used as a tool to extract meaningful patterns from that data, to make sense of that data. Moreover, actually, mathematics can be used to um, sort of develop logically hypotheses about biological systems, and they can be tested empirically. And also, you can actually run experiments that will be impossible to do uh, with limited resources or even from an ethical standpoint. So I think mathematics provides all these wonderful tools to help shed, shed insights into these biological systems. Okay, so, I, I mean, I, almost all my work involves an integration of mathematics and biology, so I do a lot of applications to ecology, epidemiology, and evolution. So this summer, for instance, I'm working on several projects simultaneously to understand how variation and environmental factors like light availability, uh, you know, water availability, and how organisms respond to that variation influences the amount of species that can be preserved locally as well as regionally. And then we're hopefully going to start testing some of those uh, sort of theory with some actual mesocosm or microcosm experiments. So the list, of course, could be endless, because <laughs> I think uh, mathematics has been very instructive um, in gaining new biological insights. But uh, one or two examples would be um, in the context of understanding how species coexist, we actually have learned that variation in time of environmental conditions, like, like, like I said, light or water availability, in, the, in of themselves can allow species to coexist that wouldn't coexist otherwise. And similarly, variation in space also can play a role in what species can coexist again spatially. So these are this variation can play a really important role in understanding global diversity. Well, I think mathematics is going to in general contribute to the world by providing us a sense of how to maybe manage important biological resources, of how to deal with or prevent uh, outbreaks of diseases. Um, and also how to maybe maintain the biodiversity in the world that I think many people actually appreciate and love.